Today we are at Akaka Falls. I think that's how you pronounce it. Akaka, Akaka. And there's a cool AKA, AKA, <laughs> Akaka Falls. Mm -hmm. But apparently there's supposed to be lots of waterfalls here and a cool story be behind the waterfalls and some cool science facts. <gasps> science. And it's like a 45 minute hike, so, and it's $5. Per here, person. But let's see how it goes. <laughs> Before Akaka Falls, make sure you hit this quick stop at Rainbow Falls. You just park and walk to the viewing site, so it's not a hike and it's a falls well worth the stop. Let's see, what do you think? Also, there are vendors on the street selling fresh coconuts, pineapples, and other tropical fruits, and it was quite an experience. We bought the coconut, they cut it in front of us, we drank the liquid inside, and then they cut it up for us to enjoy the meat as well. Not what I expected. Give me a piece. Not what I expected either, right? It's a lot more subtle of a taste. Right off the bat, you can see something of the falls. I don't know what it is. Here is the trail map. It'll probably take you less than 45 minutes to walk the entire trail. The four waterfalls you'll see are the Kahuna Falls, Akaka Falls, and the two smaller falls at the end. I don't know if they really have a name. The trail is completely paved and very easy to walk, but the only thing that you need to be concerned about is frequent rainfall making slippery conditions. So this is the legend of how Akaka Falls came about. Akaka was a warrior chief in the village of Hanamu. While this handsome warrior's wife was visiting family, Akaka was visiting his lover, Lahua, at the gulch. Oh, <gasps> the scandal! While there, he found that his wife was returning unexpectedly, so he slid out the back door, only to visit his second lover, Maile, on the other side of the gulch. Then, his wife called for him to come home, so he snuck out the back door of Maile's and took a shortcut home. He took his dog with him, and guilt-ridden for deceiving his loyal wife, he threw himself over the cliff, creating a waterfall behind him. His loyal dog was terrified of following after him, so he turned to stone at the top of the falls. His wife followed him to the scene, but could not get there in time, so she, too, turned to stone at the top of the falls. But at least she was permanently by his side. I don't know how all these things turn people to stone, but you better watch out. Seems like a lot of things turn people into stone. The dog was scared, so he turned into stone. The woman, she got there late, so she turned into stone. Kelly, that's a lesson for you, don't be late. <laughs> the two lovers heard of the incident and filled with grief cried so much that they both turned into the two smaller waterfalls not too far from Akaka Falls. The lame waterfalls after that one. Boo. I mean, it's pretty. It'd probably be prettier than anything in Kentucky, but lame. Wow. Let's see what it looks like. This was not a caca falls, but if you want to see it, click that like button and that subscribe button and that would help us out a ton. Is it here? This is it. Oh, people are waiting in line. Yeah, so let's see the top. Together. Right. There it is. Massive. Here. Get. Well, how much water do you think is going down there per second? Uh oh. It's raining. It's said that anytime it rains, it's Akaka's wife crying for his unfaithfulness to her. It's liquid sunshine! There it goes into the abyss. So there's this goby fish that defies our understanding. It's called the Oopu. It's able to swim two and a half miles upstream from the ocean up to this waterfall and then proceed to climb up the entire waterfall using a suction cup on its belly. It does this to lay its eggs. Once they hatch, 
They are washed all the way back to the ocean where they mature and make their trek once more up to the top of the waterfall. That was a pretty cool hike. I think it was worth the 10 bucks. Yeah, I think so too. How many waterfalls did we see? We saw three or four and it took us probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Just take your time, enjoy the cool banyan trees and all the cool plants and everything. Just soak it all in. And bring $10. Yeah. It's not worth the ten dollars if you're just gonna run in and see it. And yeah, leave. take lots of pictures. Yeah, be a tourist, okay? Embrace it. Yeah, get your selfie stick. Yeah. Hey.